So on the right hand side here, you're going to see an LGA 1156 motherboard. This is the old P7P55DE Premium. So this is a Linfield socket, or it's a Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, whatever you want to call it. This is an LGA 1156 motherboard with LGA 1156 mounting holes and an LGA 1156 keep out zone. So the, uh, the, the keep out zone is what Intel specifies as the minimum amount of space around the socket where there can't be anything there. All right, on my left side, I have a brand new LGA 1155 motherboard. So this is with an 1155 socket. It supports the new Core i series two chips. So that is if you have a Core i7 2600K, that 2 means generation 2. So LGA 1155, despite having fewer pins than 1156, is actually an upgraded platform. Okay. Now normally when Intel upgrades their platform and they change the socket, like when we saw 1366 to 1156, they actually change the spacing of the mounting holes. However, the good news is that if you are shopping for a new 1155 system, you're buying a motherboard, you're buying a CPU, and you're trying to figure out if you need to upgrade your cooler, I have some really good news for you. This is an LGA 1156 cooler, and this is me putting it on an LGA 1155 motherboard. Just like that. The hole spacing, whoops, hmm, look at that. Random. The hole spacing, as you can see, is exactly the same. The stock cooler uses the same plastic push pins as LGA 1156, and we even have the same hold down mechanism and the same back plate. I'm going to flip the board over again. And the same black back plate that we found on LGA 1156. So you'll actually see if I flip this over. There you go. These are using exactly the same hardware on the back of the board so there are no changes and the TDPs that is the thermal output of the processors on both platforms are actually very similar so if you have one that's rated for a high-end 1156 chip odds are 100% that it's going to work just fine with a high-end 1155 chip so don't fear you do not have to upgrade your cooler that is my Linus Tech Tip for the day. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings and overclocking and reviews and other good stuff.